So I know that we uh, spoke to this a little bit last week as it relates to continuing to engage with uh, Congress on um, uh, possible alternative engagements. Uh, I know Matt Miller spoke to that a little bit. I don't have any updates for you beyond that. Yeah. Michelle, go, back go to the Middle East. Sure. Uh, first, do you expect any changes uh, on the Israeli Hezbollah front, especially that Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, urged his government yesterday to prepare for changing the situation uh, on that front? Uh, I, I have no changes to preview or predict, Michelle. What I can say is that uh, we, one of the reasons we are continue to be so committed to a ceasefire and getting one across the finish line is because the benefits that it could have in the north for creating the conditions so that both Israeli and Lebanese civilians could be able to return home. But I don't have anything to, to, to predict beyond that. Uh, on Iraq, should we expect any announcement uh, soon regarding the future of U.S. military presence uh, there? So, Michelle, we've held discussions with the government of Iraq on the future of uh, Operation Inherent Resolve uh, since last year. Uh, President Biden and Prime Minister Sudani spoke about this in April um, during the Prime Minister's visit. Uh, in that joint statement between those two leaders, they affirmed that these conversations would be ongoing and they would review these factors uh, to determine when and how the mission of the global coalition in Iraq would end uh, and transition uh, in an orderly manner to a um, more enduring bilateral security partnership. Those conversations are ongoing. I don't have anything to, to, to get ahead of on that. We both said that there would be an announcement this month regarding the start. Uh, uh, I, I, have, I have no uh, nothing to offer as it relates to the timeline and beyond just saying that that is work that's ongoing. And lastly, yeah. uh, reports said that uh, the U.S. government told Iraqi official uh, or officials that Iraqi banks uh, ex exploited their access to U.S. dollars to support the Quds Force and the militia groups operating uh, in Iraq. Do you have any comments on that? So uh, I'm sure my colleagues at the Treasury Department would be uh, happy to speak to you a little bit more about this. But from here, what I can say is that we'll continue to collaborate closely with um, our uh, partners in Iraq uh, as it relates to their banking and finance system, to move them away from a cash system, to uh, make them more resilient uh, uh, against uh, terrorists and counterterrorism threats and cyber activities and things of that nature uh, but I don't have anything to speculate what are on these that. supports uh, I don't have anything I don't have anything to offer on that Can I call Jaleel. Go ahead. Yeah, then I'll come to you Jaleel. go ahead uh, the go Washington ahead. Post report